Good afternoon, my sparkling gems. How are you guys today? I've been missing you guys. Um, I've been kind of under the weather, um, having sinus infection, and um, still kind of a little congested right now. It's The weather here in Mississippi is very unpredictable. Um, we had snow for the past couple of days. Um, it wasn't bad, but... Um, they closed everything now and they shut everything down. Schools, work, everything. So I wasn't able to get out of the house to get some fresh air. So I kind of got cabin fever a little bit. But being that I do have a sinus infection and a sore throat, I probably don't need to be out there in the elements anyway. But I wanted to come on here a little bit to talk to you guys about um, stigma and doing the right thing, um, being good to people, um, being there for people, or either just to give them a listening ear. I have been um, going through some things, some personal things myself, and so many times people see people like myself and say, oh, you're so strong, oh, you know, um, you can handle anything. But at times, just like everybody else needs encouragement, people who are strong, they need encouragement as well. But the one thing that I've been, um, that's been on my heart is how people treat people like myself who are HIV positive. Um, it has been an ongoing thing trying to get people to accept us as normal. Uh, some people say they do, but... You know, I have to question that. Do you do you really think that we are just normal and we can live a normal life? What people fail to realize is that people who are HIV positive, they can still have children. Um, women who are HIV positive, they can still have children. They can still have normal relationships. They can get married. I mean, we can have normal relationships. But... I come into, come across people so many times when you're telling them that you want a date or something like that. They look at you like you've committed a crime, like, you know, you should even be locked up for even thinking about wanting to date. I have been um, somewhat celibate for four years. Um, I have been dating. I'm not going to say somewhat celibate. I have been celibate for four years. I have been dating, but I can't seem to find anybody that I can trust and I like. So I choose to be by myself. It's a choice. Um, but I hope soon, uh, maybe, you know, not even the, till the end of the year, I hope that I'll soon have a person in my life that's permanent. But what I ask you to do is don't look at a person if they're dating somebody HIV positive, if they're as if they got a plague or they're crazy because we're normal people. There are precautions to take. I mean, I am an open book. I tell anybody, if you want to ask any questions that are reasonable, that I can answer, I'm not a, I'm not a professional, I'm not a psychiatrist, psychologist, therapist. I'm none of those things. I'm not a physician. I'm just a normal everyday person like you living with this virus and I'm I'm healthy for the most part. I get the same feelings that everybody else get. None of my life has changed except that I have to take life long medicine for the rest of my life. And I do believe that they are embarking upon a cure soon. I believe that with all my heart. Not only that, I, in my spiritual life, I believe in healing. So, you know, I truly believe in that, but you know that's that's something else, and I don't want to offend anybody with my religious. I'm not gonna say religious because I'm not a religious person. I'm not gonna. I don't want to offend anybody with my spiritual beliefs. But I do want you to know that people who are HIV positive are human. We have feelings. We love, and we want to be loved as well. So, I ask that. You try to educate yourselves about this virus so that you won't be so ignorant to the fact that 
when you see somebody that's HIV positive or you hear tell of them getting married or you hear tell of them having a baby, it's not like, oh, my God, don't you know the doctors know what to do? This virus has been here longer than many of us. This virus has been here for 30, over 30 something years and probably longer I mean, and that's why I'm constantly telling people to get tested, know your status. And then there are all these people that, with this foolishness about um, there's no such thing as HIV. I don't even want to entertain that kind of mess because if it wasn't, if it wasn't, then why are there so many doctors telling you to get tested? Know your partner's status. Know your status. Use precautions. And I tell everybody, just because you're married, just because you are in a monogamous relationship, so you think, you're not exempt. Married people need to get tested as well. I'm not saying that, you know, you don't know your spouse, but things happen. Things happen that we have no control over. And I want all of you safe. I want all of you having a loving relationship with someone, just like I someday hope to have. And I want you all happy and healthy. That's why I do these videos, so that you can go out there, get tested, so that you can learn more about HIV, so that you can learn to accept people who are HIV positive, such as myself, and know that we are normal human beings that have feelings. And we don't want to, when we go to people's houses, you know, have to feel funny because somebody's giving us a paper cup to drink out of. Or um, when we go to use the restroom, somebody's coming in there behind us with bleach. As if, you know, it's... By us breathing, we'll do, you know, give you something. It's not like that. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is, is being good to people, being fair. This world is so evil. This world is so evil. And so many of us go through things daily. There are people who are fighting battles that we don't even know about. And sometimes their attitude is bad. But the one way that you can change somebody's attitude is by giving them love, by giving them understanding. If somebody's having a bad day and you see it, say something encouraging to them. I tell everybody in my, in my family, in my life, some days, give. Give more than you take. Give more than you take. If you give more than you take, don't you know that you'll receive in abundance? I do that. I practice it. Sometimes I get hurt because there are people who take advantage of it. But then I have to understand that I'm a cheerful giver and I choose to be one. So if a person is, is getting over on me, it's not me. It's them that they have to, they have to give an account for that. I don't want this video to be so long, but I did want to come on and let you all see my face and know that I'm fine. I'm healthy. I have a little sinus infection, but I'm okay. And I want you to go get tested. Know your status. Stay healthy. Have a good sexual relationship with your partner and protect yourself. You are responsible for your own sexual health. Have a great day. See you soon, my sparkling gems. Bye.